time to plan spring and summer getaways to explore new places, so why not check out a few best-kept vacation secrets from an expert? We're joined by P. Allen Smith. He's author, TV host, and conservationist from his Arkansas home, Moss Mountain Farm. Just a beautiful setting. P. Allen, thanks for joining us. Hey, you bet. Thanks, Mark, and happy spring. It's busting out all over, isn't it? Sure is. About 80 degrees here. And uh, tell us about Moss Mountain uh, Farm. This is the 100th year anniversary of uh, national parks and that. Yeah, well, Moss, Moss Mountain Farm, many of, uh, well, your viewers, uh, many of our fans from our PBS show, Garden Home, will recognize the farm from the show. You're seeing some examples of the the gardens and many of the tourists that come to see our gardens and heritage livestock. Even today we've got a group that's come up. We get a lot of friends from Louisiana and we love that. The farm goes back to 1840 and it's right. really set up as a model for sustainable living. We really work hard to help people make better choices and live a greener, healthier life and we do that from, from the farm. And uh, the National Park Service celebrating 100 years. I hear there are some very unique national parks uh, on your list, right? Well, there are. I mean, what a, what a great year for all Americans to celebrate uh, this anniversary for the National Park System. Mm -hmm. It's such a, well, such an asset to our nation. Hot Springs National Park was one of the earliest considered properties by Congress to protect. Um, and you can come to central Arkansas and enjoy the beautiful lakes around Hot Springs as well as the hot waters that spill out of the mountainside that Hernando de Soto had actually uh, discovered in the 1500s when he was trekking around this part of the world. And today you can come and enjoy a wonderful spa day and, and some of the beauty, scenic beauty around Hot Springs and the lakes. P. Allen, what is uh, the key to planning a great uh, vacation trip for the summer, for the spring? You know, Mark, I think that um, just taking your time, planning in the beginning with the end in mind, mm -hmm. there's so many things to do, but just not get in a rush. I mean, I really like to unplug from technology, um, try to get involved in something that just allows you to uh, go from one place to the other. You know, I love to take food, for example. I'm a foodie, and I love to, to follow the food trail, if you will, and, and eat along the way and see some of these uh, great places and just absorb nature. Tell us about the uh, park in Arkansas where you can search for diamonds. <laughs> well, that's one of our best kept secrets, or we might say gems. Uh -huh. uh, Crater of Diamonds State Park is near Murfreesboro, Arkansas. You can actually pan for your own diamonds. You can see people out in the fields uh, looking for diamonds. Um, I've been a couple of times. I've never brought home any bling, but I'll tell you, every year there are always these reports of people finding diamonds. And what's amazing is what you find, you get to keep. Yeah, sometimes somebody gets lucky, right? Well, they do. They do. And there's been some big ones. Yeah, uh, so yeah. I think the largest may have been a, about a 17 carat diamond. What is your favorite place to uh, go on vacation? Putting you on the spot a bit. Well, for me, you know, I think that um, I like a low key place. Mm -hmm. I really love to go to a couple of our lakes. Lake DeGray is a favorite, as well as Greer's Ferry Lake. Um, yeah. Just a place to unwind. They're, it's perfect for like a long weekend where you can just uh, sit back. I love to read and write, and so it gives me a place where I can unplug um, and just surround myself in nature and, and sort of just get away from it all. So I like, I like something that's a little more low key. Okay, now that we're excited to take our next adventure, do you have any uh, tips to begin the, the planning process? Well, yeah, I mean, you can always uh, go online and go to Arkansas.com. They do a really good job of sort of listing many of the places to visit, like Crystal Bridges Museum of Art up in Bentonville. I mean, that's a must-see as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. um, and if folks want to know about uh, maybe tours of the farm here at Moss Mountain Farm, they can go to pallensmith.com. Hey, Alan, thanks for joining us, and uh, have a happy vacation. Hey, thank you, and have a great spring. Thanks.